Hello again. So I'm Holly from Your Past is a Gift. Okay, so in the last video, we touched on something super duper important. Now I want you to stay with that. You're going to stay with this for a while now until you resolve it. So you had to find that point in time. That one point when you were a child and someone hurt you in some way. It's usually an adult or an older sibling or someone with more wisdom and experience of the world. They said something to you or they did something to you intentionally, unintentionally, it doesn't matter. But from that moment, you started to feel that you were not good enough, not worthy of love, unwanted, invisible like me. So which one was it for you? Because once you find that point and you understand what you decided about yourself, then you'll start to see it throughout your life. What did you start to do from that moment on? What did you, did you try and prove yourself that you are good enough in some way, you know? So what I want to talk about today is that other person because this is so important once you get this everything will fall into place for you and, and i'll talk over many many videos about these two subjects that are so intertwined the first one finding your moment finding that hurt what it created in your life whether it was a fear whether it was an anger whether it was a sadness you know that every time certain situations come up you go to one of these because as a kid I was taught that being angry was wrong we weren't allowed to display anger we weren't allowed to display sadness because what have you got to be sad about it was basically my parents were always saying that you know they came from very poor backgrounds and in their minds we had everything we had a roof over our heads we had parents that loved us you know, we had pets, we had toys, we went to a good school. So what have you got to be sad about? You know, or what do you have to be angry about? In their mind, we had everything, or everything that they never had and they wished they would have had, you know. And so now going back and thinking about that, I want you to understand that this anger is your friend this sadness that you've created and this fear, whatever fear it is that you've created, they're your friends, they're your allies, they're there to protect you. Because what happens is we go through this moment and it's so painful, it's so horrible to us. We, we just feel it's, it's unbearable. And so the pain that we feel in that moment, we don't wanna feel that ever again. We don't want to feel that. We don't want to feel that that love's being taken away or whatever that pain was, you know, that we're no longer loved, you know. So this anger, we resort to that, that protects us. So as long as we're being angry, we're not having to feel that pain. As long as we're feeling that sadness and we can cry, we don't have to feel that pain. And as long as we're afraid. Now the fear is a funny one because the fear will create a barrier between you and that experience. And so you try to avoid ever having that experience again, don't you? Because you don't want to feel that pain again. That fear is definitely protecting you. It's, it's a bar, it's a wall. This is a huge wall you've put up. Fear, I don't want to, you know, I just don't, I can't deal with it. And that's what you're saying. Every time that fear comes up and you walk away from a situation because you don't ever want to feel that way again. But these things are blessings in your life and this is what you have to start to understand. The anger, when you're angry and you're expressing all this stuff out, let it out. It's harder when you're told that it's not good for you and you have you hold it in, you know, and then it's like it's all bottled up in here and that creates disease because you can't express all these feelings, you know, that, that you want to let out into the world. You just want to, you want to hit someone or you want to yell at someone or you want someone to know this pain. You want someone to acknowledge that you're in this pain. Don't, you want to be seen. You no longer want to be invisible. Okay, 
So that's the message for today I want you to sit with. I want you to understand that your fear or your sadness, whichever one you resort to, there'll be one that you will flee to that as soon as something happens that reminds you of that horrible experience. You will flee to one of those. Mine was anger. I just, <laughs> anger. Oh my God, would I be angry with people, you know, or a situation and I would just stew on it all day, you know. But doing that, I didn't have to look at myself. I was looking at them and what they had done wrong and how they made me angry. So this anger was protecting me from ever looking at how bad I felt at that time, you know, how lonely I felt, I felt so cast aside. So I want you to think about all that and I want you to start looking at your fear or your anger or your sadness and really embrace them and thank them because they're protecting you. They're there to, to help you get through any situation that reminds you of that pain. All right, my lovelies. Remember to click like and subscribe below. And my email and is there if you want to send me a private message, you need help with anything, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. And um, you can always make comments because I'm, other people will read your comments. And through those comments, they may, you know, something may go off in their head. They, they may have little light bulb moments from something you've said because there'll be other people. I know you seem to think, a lot of you think you're on your own out there, but I can promise you, you are not. Whatever it is you're going through, no matter how painful it's been or how painful it still is now, whatever you're going through, there are thousands of people out there going through the same. And when you understand this, there will be that connection to the rest. So anything you say, feel free to say because other people, it may help someone else release something they've been holding on to. Okay? Never be afraid. You're in a safe place. All right. Bye for now. I'll see you in the next videos. Bye.